Yo, what's going on, folks? It's me, Justin. I shave my mustache. So we'll be talking about with this remix in your Kleenex nonsense. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is recreating the very first set I made, but with all the cool new things I've learned over the past few weeks. That's what the fuck I mean. <laughs> so here's some screenshots from Google Search Console and Binge uh, showcasing traffic, uh, organic traffic from, you know, the two two big dogs, I'd say. There's a few little Ecosia and, and duck ducks in there but these are the ones i actually have uh, webmaster accounts set up for and all that so as you can see pretty decent growth from it <laughs> just october 12th or 12th when this was put up i think the 13th maybe 14th according to this is when the first click which was me um but as you can see it kind of it's really just gone up from there over time we are going to see some dips right now because of um, holidays. Should go back up pretty pretty decently in the beginning of December, and then it'll go back down again, Christmas, New Year's, that kind of stuff. But then after that, to the moon. And here's the uh, few more screenshots you can see from GA4, which sucks. Uh, last 30 days, 705 users. Like That's a pretty pretty decent amount for it being the first full month. We're not even at the first end of the first full month, but this is the first full month. Can't be mad about this at all. Uh, most from the U.S., a little bit from uh, some other countries, but it, it's the, the most of these people should be coming from the U.S. Uh, and allegedly, allegedly, I don't think this is for real. Well, it's not going to be for real. It's 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 already gone down since I've made this slide uh, to like two o something. Allegedly, I'm getting earning about a ten dollar and some change uh, CPM or EMPV or whatever metric you want to use uh, from display ads. Now that I finally found a display ad network that'll accept the site, AdSense wasn't accepting it because it's a it's a web tool. It's not it's like an article or it's not content like that. So there's like, oh, it's thin content. I'm like, it's not thin content. There is no content, or it's not supposed to be content. It's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to read these posts or pages. You're supposed to work the magic and get the hell off. So, uh, they weren't accepting it, but I found another one adds Terra is the name. It's, it's like most alternative, uh, display ad networks. I don't think this $10 CPM is going to hold up because these I'm on a, I'm on a roller coaster right now. Like the second day or the first day and no, the second day I had display ads on there, it was like $60. I'm like, oh Lord have mercy. We were we got it. We got it. And the next day it was like five cents CPM. And the next day it was like 30. And the next day it was like half of half a cent. Point zero zero five dollars. The next day it was like ten. And it's it's all over the place. I don't imagine it'll stay like this forever. I can't imagine it would, and I'm not anticipating. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Um uh, kind of talk about some 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 of that here soon. <laughs> So basically what I'm doing, again, the remix in your Kleenex is I'm creating the same damn site that I create that, that I showcased earlier. Um, same concept, same pages, but that site, like I, I, I've experimented with programmatic SEO, um, back in 2020 on, not on a brand new site, but it was like, Hmm, what if I created, you know, took content from these, these couple pages and combined them and basically went like the uh almost like the zapier or like the g2 route of comparing this platform versus that platform but i wasn't going to rewrite all that stuff i just pulled that content boom basically was able to create a just a, a bunch of unbiased hey here's this information here here's this information sign up for which whenever which whichever one you want and i create all that and it, it it worked you know it didn't crash the site it didn't shoot me down to zero it it gets traffic, not high level because it's not really something that people are searching for. But I know that because no one else has created that. If somebody, if in the event that anybody searches for those things, I'm coming up first. And that's exactly what the case is. But the volume is pretty abysmal, but that's okay. So the site that was created in October, my first like true programmatic, every single page is going to be dynamically created, blah, 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 spreadsheet money. Um, that was, you know, my very first attempt and I was looking more to get something live and working than I was trying to, you know, create something that was, oh, this is my new, this is my new baby. Ugh. Um, so there's a lot of things that are messed up on it that I recognize now or things that I didn't know that I should have considered. Um, 
but now I know and I know how to uh, implement them. So now I can go back and instead of, and somebody asked me, Hey, are you going to make a new site or you got to just update that old one? It's like, no, like that old sites, it's live. It's doing its thing. It's working. Okay. I'm not going to go in and, and, and mess with it at all, especially with how easy it is to get a second site up. Cause uh, you don't really got to do too much with the, with programmatic. Like if you, as long as you have your data set, you can create 10 pages with, uh, with the same stuff. So, or 10 websites rather. So basically creating the same damn site, but better. I do, you know, there's a lot of things I noticed and again, talked about with other, other creators, other, other builders. Um, I think, you know, Ian Nuttall had a great idea as far as internal linking goes. I'm like, oh my gosh, like why? Like, yeah, I should probably internally. I didn't do any internal linking on this other site, um, but it still is doing all right. Um, so I need to clean up the data set a little bit. There's a lot of, uh, oh, what, what would you, like some of the, let's say titles. Some, some of the titles were a uh, sentence case. Some of them were all uppercase. Some of them lower case, case somehow. I need to go in and standardize that. So just make it that 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 better. Uh, improve the UI and the UX. Uh, for instance, this, the first site, you know, the people are coming to the website for a tool. They're trying to use this tool, this web tool. But you know, I had uh, like an introduction on these on these pages. It doesn't need to be there. I need to come on and I need to use the tool right away. Um, so make it better for them. Uh, cool thing about making just a ton of sites in a really short amount of time is you kind of get really good at making them look decent, like, as opposed to, you know, when you, if you're not a web designer, I'm not a web designer, but just going in and have to create sites after site after site or wanting to rather, uh, it got to the point where I was like, okay, I, I need to come up with like a universal system. So I installed or I had locals, WP locals or locals, WP, basically an offline version of WordPress where you can, you know, test stuff offline, uh, install generate press and generate blocks and all the kind of plugins that I use. And I created more or less my own kind of theme. We'll say that I can just use, it's not my own theme because I don't want to do all that nerd shit, but I basically have all these settings already set up there. So all I have to do is when I create a new site, just import those settings, boom, it's laid out how I want it to copy and paste the CSS. Boom. It's got the, 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 it's all sexy for me. You know what I mean? So I figured some of that out. That's all done. Uh, really, you know, homepage design, all that kind of stuff. It's come together as far as just, here's what I need. Here's, I need A, B, C, D, E. Oh, I, I'm going to create that here, copy all that over. And now I got to do is just edit the text. Uh, cause I'm, I'm trying to use the same color scheme for everything. Just not even have to think about it. Just import the colors. Boom blue, red, white, black, it's done. <laughs> so doing all that, uh, again, like I was talking about, as far as internal linking goes and proving the on page, um, internal linkings, that's really the biggest one right at this point. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's really it. Uh, content wise, since, you know, kind of experimenting and jiggy with a little bit of Spintax almost. Well, that's, that's basically what it is. Spintax for, you know, 2022. Uh, using AI to rewrite sentences and then mixing those up. So all the sentences have the same sentiment or they have the same. Uh, yeah, well, sentiment, that's, that's the best way to say it. They have the same sentiment. They all mean the same. They're just written in different ways. You can write, you, can write, you know, I played with my dog millions of different ways. Uh, so, so they kind of flow together and they all make sense as they're mixed up and jumbled. It's just whew, doing that. Cause on the first site, every single page was the exact same, exact same instructions, exact same, everything. Get rid of that. We're having somewhat brand new content on every single page, um, and improve the spelling. So I noticed this <laughs> after, uh, after I hit publish my last kind of push for that site that there's a pretty, pretty juicy spelling mistake right at the very end, the very last word, the very last word was, uh, websites was spelled wrong website. So instead of site, it was I S T E. 
what can you do? You know, but I wasn't gonna go back and change it because I, I, you know, I was on to the next, on to the next thing. So that's what we're doing. Same damn site, but better. Um, and I guess some, some other things, uh, I'm putting it on my second server because I had to buy another server because I filled up the first one. I was just creating so much. I was just going wild with it. And I was probably like 90% full, something like that. I'm like, all right, I don't want to get to the point where, you know, <laughs> I'm doing an import and all of a sudden, oh no, like you are out of space. You cannot put it, create anything else. And then it's halfway through and I, I don't want to have to migrate and all that kind of other nonsense. And I think with, I use Vero tech. I think I'm on their, their biggest plan with like the, whatever. I can't add any more space to the server. So I just bought a second one or rented a second one or whatever the case is. And now we're, uh, boom, we're on a second server. Uh, but I'm using the same search console and binge account because so one of my sites, I, I'm ranking first for like this whole suite of keywords. Cause I'm quite literally the only person that's ever talked about it. Uh, I create a subdomain, you know, shop.website.com created a product for that, you know, the same kind of article, but more detail and actually like a video course, what have you. And that's ranking, that's ranking second, like across the board like the, the e-commerce, the, the WooCommerce, uh, page for that product. So I'm like, mm, you know, I don't know if, I don't think that, you know, ranking, having two sites in the exact, doing the exact same thing, trying to rank for the exact same thing is a, uh, is a problem. I don't know. Anecdotal evidence says it ain't. So it ain't, um, I'm going to put display ads on off the rip. I think it, you know, assuming that that $10 CPM is correct, which I know it's not, I know it's going down. This site could have earned like 40, 30, 40, $50 in this like first full month, um, from display ads just cause it's not so much, you know, it's not CPM based on the users. It's CPM based on the display ads. And there's like five, six, seven display ads per page. So yeah, 705 users per month could be like 5,500 impressions and then, you know, 10 dollars CPM, but you know, you do the mathematics. So I'm going to be putting display ads on like right away. They're all, you know, it's, they're not auto ads or anything like that. You put them in where you want them. You plug in the, the code plugged in using like elements, I think, and, and generate press and then sidebar stuff, whatnot. So display ads on like right away. Also putting in 10 to 12, probably I'll just say 12, like bullshit articles, <laughs> uh, homepage, just, just to fill up the homepage. I like to have articles on my homepage and I don't want, you know, the programmatic stuff on there because I'd rather not, I'd rather have a little variation in the featured images and to be, like totally cool with, I would be totally cool with like a $5 CPM. If everything leveled out and went down to five, hell, I'd be cool with like $2. You know what? I'd be cool with $1 CPM. Uh, just, it's, it's an, I'm okay with that. Um, looking at, okay. So just to kind of, I guess, paint that picture. 705 users were left over the last 30 days. According to SEMrush, I don't, I'm not paying for any like SEO tools right now, but I, you know, you still have the free version of SEMrush. Um, according to SEMrush, this website gets zero traffic from organic, but that ain't true. So this site gets zero traffic organically. It's probably, I think it only has in there like 45 keywords that it's ranking for. And there's a, a little bit more than that in, in search console. Uh, the, the only other site doing this, like at scale, like I am, according to SEMrush, they're getting like 40,000 visitors per month. So I'm like, all right, no chance that that's all they're getting. No chance, no chance in hell. That's what they got. Um, so again, $2, $5, $3, $4, $1 CPM. If it settles at that, cool. Because for the amount of effort that goes into this, how fast it's getting people 
you know, again, disregarding the holidays, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Cause it would, yeah, yeah, it'll be, we're going to be all right. So I'm cool with that. Um, and also now that some sites are actually doing something, um, the display ad or not display ads, the affiliate content sites are just slowly, they're so slow to get going. Uh, and it's just because buyer intent keywords, whereas this is just information stuff. We'll get some case study updates coming soon. Uh, first, perhaps maybe the first of January. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but there's actually something to report on, not just, oh, I got, I got 150 impressions this month. Woohoo. And, and two clicks. Woohoo. And none of those clicks over to the affiliate program. So I didn't make any money because who wants to hear that? Nobody wants to hear that. So now that things are actually starting to roll, I will kind of break all those down uh, site by site. And we'll see how things, you know, go. And to be honest, I'm going to be real with you. Secret. Play a secret. If this new site does, if it has the same trajectory as this, this first site, I might just stick with that. I might just stick with creating basically the same site over and over until I get a chart that doesn't look like that. Um, I don't have the kind of shiny object like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I got I need to make an, if I make a new site, I gotta find something completely new. Like why not compete against myself? Why not just do the thing that I already know it's working and do it again and again and again, and I do it again. So I might end up with 45 sites all in the same niche competing for all the same keywords. But as long as, you know, I'm, I'm, covering the first few pages in the SERPs, I'm going to win at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we'll see, we'll see, especially if that's, if, if the affiliate stuff continues to just take forever to, to rank and, and do anything, this doesn't, 